Had to get it all by myself, I ain't have a choice. Okay, so today we're looking at a video by this guy, Peter Bahogzian, or however you say his name. Full credit to this guy, this is a great video. It's called Confrontation at Portland State University. Did I harm students by asking this question? Now, just for some context, this guy kind of does this thing where he'll uh, present a statement and he'll ask people to either say if they strongly agree or strongly disagree, and he kind of makes them walk along a certain line depending on how much they agree or disagree. And the question asked here was, is there two gen? And uh, he does this out in public, so, you know, it's basically with strangers. They get to answer these questions. Now, this time, there was a bit of a uh, disruption, we should say, because his entire experiment, or, you know, his show, or whatever you want to call it, was disrupted by people calling his little experiments, or, you know, his show, they were calling it triggering, harmful, hurtful. I think somebody at some point in the video calls it violent. Really crazy stuff, so I just want to take a look at this video, but before we do, be sure to like, subscribe, and yeah, let's just get into it. What would it take for you to move, not all the way over there, just one line, just one line? I guess if they told me how many genders specifically there were, I can't think of anything that would change my opinion, I guess, but... If you got some friends, you yeah. Oh, you're giving me the finger? Hi. How pathetic is that, dude? They're the same way. These people always want to talk the most shit from a distance, whether it's on the internet, even in real life, bro. Even in real life, they throwing up the fingers from the rooftop. On Twitter, they'll talk shit and then block you, bro. These people are so predictable. Like, these are the same type of people that will cancel you over some jokes or something. Like, bro, we don't like you. I'm standing in front of the social work building. I'm harming individuals by asking that question. Bro, it's a question, bro. It's not harmful. What's harmful is if I'm doing an arm wrestle with somebody and I break their hand, okay? You guys don't know what harm is. Harm is if I took an automatic rifle and emptied out an entire 60-round clip into somebody. Like, that's harmful. Okay, Jesus, that's like a little bit more than harmful. I'd, I'd say that's more deadly, but you guys get the point. People don't even know what harm is anymore. If you ask a goddamn question, you're harmful. You're a domestic terrorist. Well, you want to come down and have a conversation? about it no they don't obviously they don't bro they'd rather call you whatever uh transphobic or whatever on twitter or racist on twitter or just give you the finger from the rooftop they don't want to have a conversation they just want to yell and flip you off also uh unrelated but dude's ear looks so huge from this angle he's all ears if you get what i'm saying why do you want to come down and have a conversation these people are teachers bro they're teachers at this school flipping this guy off aren't you supposed to be professionals god bro what is going on in this man's class, after a long, controversial 10 weeks of lectures, in this giant auditorium on the final day, he posed a question to students. He says, if anybody has disagreed with anything I've said over the last 10 weeks, come down and sit in this chair in a spotlight in the middle of the auditorium. Here's a platform. Tell me to my face. Bro, this guy looks like the blue chipmunk. I can't even lie. But uh, he seems cool. He seems like what? He's telling a story about how his professor was like super woke or something and was spewing some crap. And then at the very end of it, he like confronted his teacher. All right, that's cool. Excuse me. Hi, I'm so curious about what's um, what's happening out here. Oh, you wanna, you, uh, it's a critical thinking game. Okay, yeah, so you guys can see, right? So this is like, there's different little lines here. It's like, I don't know, neutral, agree, strongly agree, disagree, uh, strongly disagree type thing. Well, uh, we were watching from up there actually, because we actually, we ha we happened to see the sign from up in the School of Social Work, which is on the sixth floor. And some of our trans students saw the statement, um, there are only two genders. Yeah, sorry, there is only two genders. What's the third one, right? Even if you think non-binary is like a real thing, isn't non-binary like not a gender? Isn't the whole point of it that there is no gender? So what is the third gender, bro? Tell me. Like, I, I just don't know, right? I get it that there's some people that got like both private parts. And I, I guess yeah, I understand those people are real, but like, what would you even like, what would that be? Don't they choose one at some point? I don't know, man. But to me, it's like 99% of people are one or the other. So, I mean, it's not a crazy thing to ask a question about. 
It was pretty activating and upsetting not knowing the context. Bro, you can't ask questions, bro. They asked a question and it was activating and upsetting, bro. Activating. Dude, what the fuck does activating mean, dude? Can you guys stop with this bullshit language that they come up with? They come with these new language. It was very activating. Bro, just say you got offended. Just say that you're a sensitive bitch that gets offended over simple questions. Seriously. I'm not talking about you. I'm not talking about this lady with the Patagonia vest. I'm not calling her the B word. I'm just saying, in general, if you have this sort of reaction, just admit that you're a bitch. You want use defund the police as one? Well, just thinking about what it looks like. Yeah. What does it look like to, other, to, to see like community. one, two, three, four, five, five white men? Oh, shut the fuck up, dude. These people. Oh, how does it look to see all these white men? Like, dude, you're, oh my God. It's always these guys too, right? These guys, I'm sure this guy is like gay or he, they pronouns or they, them pronouns who because of that has completely forgotten about the fact that he's a white man too. And he thinks that he's like above other white men because he calls out white people, dude. What, what's wrong with you, man? It, you could have been like the Westboro Baptist Church, bro. What is white? Why did you identify us on the base of our race? Bro, he did that because he wanted to seem woke and he wanted to seem like the good guy, right? Like, come on now. Well, are you the best people to be hosting that? that dialogue what do you mean bro what, what, what does that mean is he the best person to be hosting the dialogue bro anybody can ask the question is there two genders would it make you feel better if this guy was black and asked the same question what's wrong with you bro your logic makes no sense okay but i asked you a question why did you identify me and these people on the base of their race yeah why did he do that bro why why would you why would that be the first thing you say isn't this guy's issue with the fact that he's quote-unquote transphobic so why bring up the fact that he's white it just makes you look stupid Stay on topic. Um, it's not a moral question. It's a matter of like the fact it's that it's just those about power and privilege. Yeah. yeah and it's about power and privilege. Hold on a second. So if you're saying they have privilege to be here and ask this question because they're white, that doesn't even make sense because this guy gave him a hard time because he was like, "You're threatening because you're a white guy." So how is that a privilege? I think white privilege exists. I think it does. I think in certain scenarios, yeah, it's probably easier to be a white guy, right? But in this scenario, I think it'd be easier to be a black guy, right? None of these people would be giving him, giving him as hard of a time. I feel like that makes a lot of sense, right? This guy doesn't have privilege in this situation, right? They're all talking down. He's like, oh, six white guys? Come on. He wouldn't say six black guys because he realized how bad that sounds. And, and representation, right? So if you have queer folks out here asking those kinds of questions and there was well, how do you know we're not queer yeah you see you just you're, you're dumb like you just see somebody asking questions and you make all these assumptions about them man um that's true i don't know but there's not um sort of a representative holistic inclusive feeling especially from up on high we're looking that stupid hand motion she just did Yo, can we get a replay of that, the little hand motion she's doing where she's doing the, the little swirly motion with her hands, like she's scooping a bunch of shit? Boom. Boom. I think she hit that three times. Let's see it. Ready? One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Bro, she hit that triple. Oh, baby, a triple. We're also just worried about the harm being done to passersby. What, what is the harm? So there are people, the who went, they, people who went home because it was so yeah. triggering. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Dude, if somebody went home, right, they, they literally left school for the day because they saw a guy with a sign that said, is there two genders? They deserve it. They deserve to be offended, bro. You don't, you're not an adult. What the hell's wrong with you? If you have to go home because of the mental trauma of seeing a sign that says there's only two genders, you belong at home. You don't belong in the real world. You're babied. That's pathetic, dude. <laughs> they went home. Because they saw a sign that says there's only two agendas, agree or disagree. That's insane. You're on Twitter too much. That's the, that's the, that, bro, they went home to go back on Twitter, bro. That's my guess. You know you're on film, right? That is totally fine. Okay. There are real people who are really hurt by the statements. Right? That's too bad. And the thing is too, right? I can just say too bad, right? Which I am going to say. But at the same time, it's not even like this guy is trying to hurt people or anything. These people are just getting hurt. This guy is being totally reasonable, bro. He's like 1v17ing right now. He's taking on the entire Fortnite lobby by himself. Like, he's not here to hurt people. He's got a YouTube channel where he just does, like, this, like, show thing. He's not here to, like, harass people or anything. He's not just some random. I mean, I guess to them he is, and to most people on the street he is, but he's not just coming at this to just, like, just to troll people. Like, I don't know. He's doing this for, like, content. 
You know, I don't think he's poorly intended. What were they heard about? Question that. Because that's not how they identify, and so it seems like a really triggering statement to just say there are two genders. How do you even- you're just getting triggered, bro. That's on you. Like, you have to understand, it's not the person asking the question who it's their fault that you're getting triggered. It is your fault that you're getting triggered because you have no self-control. Like, how baby do you have to be to see a sign that says there's only two genders and it's an agree or disagree statement and that literally causes you to go home for the day and probably cry yourself to sleep? Like, that is on you. That is completely on you. It was very harmful and very hurtful and I just, there's human lives that were affected? Yeah, there's human lives that are affected in every interaction every single day. Get over it. Well, I genuinely re respect the fact that you came as opposed to seven or eight of you giving me the middle finger and saying fuck you to me. So yeah, so, so. If what do you gain from this? Like, what is your reason that you just want to cause trouble or like? Bro, they always think that it's bad intentions, bro. Like, that's how they justify their huge outrage. They think everybody who disagrees with them is evil. So when they flip him off and they go crazy and they try to deplatform people on Twitter, that's their justification because they've really convinced themselves that people like this, who they don't even know are evil. So they think by flipping him off from like the rooftop when they've never had a conversation with him in their life is somehow serving justice. So they think that they genuinely think he's here to cause trouble because that's how brainwashed they are. They think that, you know, people asking questions, even if they might seem a little controversial, are always there to just cause trouble and disrupt the status quo. It's like, bro, maybe he just wants to just do a little experiment, make some content. Like, what's wrong with you? Yeah, I'm going to skip this part where he just kind of explains what he does. And then this is just like him asking, what should I do instead? That's also boring. But let's, let's see what this is. You want to say i wanted to hear her through no i get it and i'm just wondering like are any of you all like trained professionals in trauma and porn care like <laughs> oh man you can only ask questions if you're a trained professional unreal the elitism on these people just because you have a sheet of paper that you know kind of claims that you're better at psychology than somebody else without that sheet of paper doesn't mean shit yeah sure it looks better on the job application but at the end of the day we're all humans we can do we, like who's to say you understand me better than this person makes no sense if a trans gender individual were to come to the space and participate and then there was a triggering response where they needed emotional support like are you ready to support that <laughs> oh man it's not his job it's not his job you know he's not these people's dads he's not their moms you know you're not gonna get babied emotional support what do you, what the fuck are you even talking about at this point? I just want to make sure y'all are clear with what, what she just said. She literally said, if this guy asks a question like, is there two genders? And some lunatic starts crying because he asked that question. Is he prepared to help that person with their mental breakdown? Are you out of your fucking mind, dude? Are you out of your mind? How disconnected and how unhinged and just delusional do you have to be to even ask that? No, of course he's not prepared because it would not be his fault. If someone starts losing their mind, bro, they need to take themselves to the bathroom, rinse up, and realize that they just made themselves look like an idiot. Whether they're participating or not, like, that's a potential thing to think about and could be a flaw in the system because you need to have someone to be able to support that. No, you don't. No, you don't. Who says that? Who says you need to have an emotional support? That's stupid. Let's just, let's flip this, okay? Let's have some guy asking a, like a really liberal question, okay? Let's say some guy comes on with a sign that says, white people are evil, agree or disagree. You think I'm gonna go up there as a white person and start being like, um, if I get offended by that question, is there an emotional support in place for me? No, of course not. Or like, bro, it's, it's just so backwards, man. Like we gotta stop babying people. Emotionally, mentally, and for people's trauma. So if you're not, it's kind of like these people might leave and feel like without any support or any understanding of what they just- He doesn't owe them shit. Y'all are brainwashed. And like they're seeing messages like this all throughout their lives. What do you mean messages like this? He asked a question. He's not saying there's two genders. If you're, if you think that you're somewhere else or whatever, go to hell. He's not even saying that, man. He's literally not. He's just asking questions. That's all it is. And so campus is supposed to be a safe space where everyone can exist freely. Oh my God, bro. This, this whole safe space bullshit, bro. I remember it used to be get out of your comfort zone. And now it's, oh, come back to your safe space. Like, wh why did we switch that? What was the point of switching that? The first one was better. Get out of your comfort zone. You know, you're not going to always be in your comfort zone in life. So get used to it. And now it's just... Oh, uh, your comfort zone, that's where you should be. You need a safe space. You're triggered and activated by the outside world. Uh, we're going to create safe spaces for you. Bro, what are we doing? In their own identities and who they are and be learning and be talking about these really, really important things within our culture and society. 
And by walking through this community, remember that we care about that should be in class today, learning about how to take care of their community. Okay, so, so you're, this, this lady right here is literally blaming this guy because their students got overreacted by this question and skipped class because they were crying or something. And that's his fault. She's blaming him for students skipping class today because he asked the question, what on earth is going on? And that's why, that's what we mean by harm. And honestly, I don't even think adding a question mark is enough. I think it should be more of what is your perspective on gender identity? Not his job, not his job. You know, you have one way that you want to see things. That's not how the world works, sweetie. Okay, people do things the way they want to do it, and that's how it's going to be. Because then you're opening up the question, or gender in general, right? Because we know that it's not just about identity, it's about who that person is. That's the same thing. What? It's not about identity, it's about who that person is. Isn't that the definition of identity? Dummies. By, by really framing it in the binary, that's where there's harm. Yeah, by putting gender in the binary, that's where that's harm, bro. Yeah, dude, if you believe in boys and girls, you're you're doing harm. Can I put in like my two cents as a non-binary person? Please, yes. Cool. I am gender non-conforming. I use they, them pronouns. Do you know what that means? I believe so, yes. Are you aware of like the theory of social constructionism? Yes. So I'm a, I'm a gender studies scholar. Yeah. So I'm much younger than you. These are all Yo <sighs> I don't know what to say. I, I don't want to say that this, uh, you know, that this person is like crazy or something, but just something about this ain't right. I'm just going to say that, right? Like this to me seems like a girl. Am I, am I crazy to say that? Like, I don't want to be like mean or disrespectful or anything like seriously not, but like, like what, like you're just not a gender. I mean, no hate at all, but it's just, it's, it's, uh, something, something ain't right. You know, this is all very new. I understand. Like my parents are boomers. All right, cool. I don't want to hear it talk. So we're skipping. I'm just skipping to the end. Cause I want to see what happens. I want to see if they throw hands or something. What is your understanding of why I'm doing this? You don't care about your you just care about how you're It's not impact. What, what, I'm sorry. What, I haven't heard from you. What is it? It's not. I just want to tell you, we don't care about your thought experiment. We care about the, hum the, the, impact. the yeah. impact. The impact. Oh my god. <sighs> I don't know what to say. These people are lost causes, man. I deserve a like for reacting to this and uh, just going through this pain. And uh, I'll catch y'all later.